Hello, this is Billy Collins, and I'm very happy to be invited to this virtual event. I'm going to read two poems by a celebrated poet and a very um, prominent uh, guest of the, of the Y, and that is Howard Nemeroff. And then I'm going to slip in three very tiny poems by me, and I mean tiny. The first poem uh, of Howard Nemeroff's is um, it's, it's, he takes off with the idea, not the idea, but the fact that Flaubert said, I think after he wrote Madame Bovary, that he wanted to write a book, a novel, a derrien, uh, about nothing. And he takes off from there and his, and his classically ironic style. So this is the poem by Howard Nemeroff called Style. Flaubert wanted to write a novel about nothing. It was to have no subject and be sustained upon style alone, like the Holy Ghost cruising over an abyss, or like the little animals in Disney cartoons who stand upon a branch that breaks, but do not fall till they look down. He never wrote that novel, and neither did he write another one that would have been called La Spirale, wherein the hero's fortunes were to rise in dreams while his waking life disintegrated. Even so, for those two books, we thank the master. They can be read with difficulty in the spirit alone, are not so wholly lost as certain works burned at Alexandria, flooded at Florence, and are never taught in universities. Moreover, they are not deformed by style, that fire that eats what it illuminates. And the next poem by him is a favorite of mine, a very short poem, and the title is Because You Asked About the Line Between Prose and Poetry. Sparrows were feeding in a freezing drizzle that while you watch turned into pieces of snow, riding a gradient invisible from silver slant to random white and slow. There came a moment that you could not tell, and then they clearly flew instead of fell. So prose and poetry are both composed of the same thing, language, uh, snow and rain are both composed of water, but uh, in his view, poetry flies and prose falls. Now, three, when I say tiny, three very tiny poems by me, and one is called Waiting. Dead quiet night, I lie in bed waiting for the other pin to drop. very important title here, Divorce. No more heavy ball, just the sound of the dragged chain with every other step. And finally, uh, another important title, Bad Hotel. I told the woman from housekeeping who was eager to do up my room to just come in and pretend I'm not here which is exactly what I had been doing ever since I checked in. Thank you.